deal with this part of my digital media ID was one concerning beginner or across you group, and that is that they don't have a way to communicate with the general public and within themselves about anything. So my task with that thing was making a website to help this alleviate this problem that they were facing. So So the website basically contains three web pages and they have information about the group. For example, volunteering, topics relating to the group and so on. So the exact information, activities they're hosting, principles, what they're about, what their main goal is. Inquiries is people can ask questions on the website if, you don't, if you're not clear about something. And more, more will be added later. Okay, next. So this is basically a chart showing what I want to put on the website. So basically, you start for this, then you, you go to the home page. So the home page just provides the brief information. It's very, very brief, you won't have like a, any issue reading it is like a couple lines. There's also a messaging portion on the page at the bottom where you can literally just any message you want and we'll try to reply as soon as possible. Then the second page is the volunteering page. So once you join the group, you can see if there are any forces, first aid posting, volunteer first aid trains, any events that we're participating in, and if they have blood drives or anything within the society. So yeah. The third thing now is history, because Red Pass has a very long history. Other relevant topics, because we deal with a lot of issues, diseases, climate change, women's issues, others. And their fundamental principles, which is the structure in which the entire movement was built. Yeah. So this is a mock-up of what the website will look like. This is created before I even started making the website. Okay. And this is how the website will look on your phone. So that's the home page, and this is the contact page where you can ask your questions. Okay, okay so the impact of this website on the group. Hopefully, the will new members. And once they pu keep on publishing information and the public can see the information, they can gain more trust. And they, honestly, if they have more trust, which is what they need right now, more people will volunteer, more people will donate funds to the group, and so on. Next. Okay, so this were, these are the tools I use. Microsoft Professional Plus, for basically typing out the entire document, the proposal, and everything. Adobe was used for the mock-up that you saw before that, on how the website will look, as well as wireframes, which are integral in a start, creating a starting point for your website, basically. And the others are just used to compile this presentation and so on. So the budget. I try to keep it as small as possible because this is a volunteer organization and they're not really big when it comes to having a lot of funds on hand for anything. So, Microsoft Professional Plus, just $40,000 per year. The Wix.com, to, to use some of the features on the website, you need to pay the $36,000, plus if you wanted your own domain name. So that's what this cost is for. With those movie makers, free, 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 so I try to keep it very cost effective. So in the end, you're only paying $50,000 per year for everything. Okay, so this is the first blog I posted on the website. It's the fundamental principle that I was talking about earlier. So that's already up there. The, how the messaging thing will look on a, your computer. How another draft that would look on your computer. Okay, so the target audience is just the membership of the youth group, which is primary target audience. Anyone between 14 to 35 can join the group. 
And the second that we are getting to general public is such that companies or anyone who wishes to look up the information on the group can easily research the information without any hassle. Yeah. Any questions? No questions? What do you anticipate the um <laughs> Your uh, traffic to be like, what, what I notice is that you try to keep it down, keep the cost low, which is good, but as opposed to if I'm viewing, well, how many people are going to view this website? Well, like, I don't have like a number, but I assume, like, especially since like a lot of high schools tell you that in order to get into college, you need some volunteering, so I'm expecting a lot of youths who need volunteering on their resume or anything like that, they'll look at them. Definitely. Any other questions? I think there's a... Hmm? Yeah, there